We're going to use the text tool, and the text tool is located in the toolbar. And the way that you use the text tool, um, and you can see it here, it's just a T. Uh, you click and drag, and it'll put down a lorem ipsum text block. And you click and drag that square open, and then it also creates the square. Uh, in layer one or a new layer in the layers panel. There's a lot of different ways that you can change this. Here you can change the overall size of the font. You could also change the font itself, the justification, the color of the font, and a lot of other features here but what this video is really about is connecting what we're doing with some of these blending modes that are available inside of Photoshop in the layers panel so let me just make this a little bit larger here and I like what we're seeing with, with that I'm going to zoom in just so that we can see a little bit better now, what blending modes do is allow for different ways that layers can behave with one another. And it will reveal something underneath based on an algorithm. And to access that blending mode option, you go to a layer whose blending mode you want to change and you click right next to the opacity slider of that layer the pull down menu for the blending mode and you can see as you go down and hover the blending mode will change and this is really interesting because it gives you a lot of different design options and it behaves differently based on what kind of information is in front of or behind the layer that you're changing. So by and large, I like to just come in here and hover over all of these things and see what my options are with a blending mode. And some people use it more specifically if they wanted to add a texture behind the portrait, for example, they could come in with a blending mode to do that. Now, here we have darken is one section, and that looks at how the shadows are behaving in relationship to the highlights. And then we have the lighten category, and that's looking at how the, the highlights are behaving in relationship to one another. And then we have the overlay category, which gives you a blend of the highlights and the shadows of the image together into different algorithms. So finally, the inversion or the inverted section, all of these are going to give you a negative version of what you're looking at. and. The opposite color as well and then finally you have these based on different color contrasts that are available so it's interesting to think about how many different options there are and I like lighten or darken here as an example of a blending mode and you can see that it adds something else to the way that information comes together in Photoshop. Try it out for yourself. Try it out with some image and some text and see what kind of creative things you can do with blending modes.